Alrighty, let's kill Pelagia on hard time attack mode. Here we go. Jump right into the water, start swimming under by holding R2. And you want to get to his backside as fast as possible. Aim yourself diagonally, it's, it's the fastest way to get to him. And you'll know when you'll grab onto his green fur when the camera gets really close like this. Right here. And basically what you want to do is just be patient and climb up, up to the bump. And then you want to press X to jump up, climb up to the bump. Press X, and that's the fastest way to climb him. If you try to climb all the way to his top without jumping up, it's going to take forever. So that's the way you want to do it. Climb a little bit, jump. Climb a little bit, jump. And you'll get a hang of it. This is the hard part or of the fight. It's because of the physics. Because you get flung around here a lot every time you hit the teeth. Now, I'm going to be going towards the middle platform right there. So, yeah. I'm trying to get to that one. And once again, physics being stupid. So you want to be careful, just patient, and get ready to hold R2 at any moment. Because he goes crazy like this all the time, I don't know why. Like, it's super sensitive, so just be wary of that, guys. And just keep hitting the teeth until you get closer and closer. We're going to be doing this two more times. Once you get close to the platform, get ready to jump up. Equip your bow. Stay behind the pillar because he's going to start shooting you with his ears or his horns rather. You want to shoot him to get his attention. Because sometimes he just chills there. Shoot him again. Now, when he starts going down like this, that means he's about to come up. Get ready to jump on him as fast as possible because you have very little time to hit him. So jump up, hold R2 to grab him on. Let go of R2 and then press it again to hold on the reason you want to do that is instead of climbing to the weak point it's gonna take forever you want to actually just drop to it otherwise you're not gonna have enough to have time to hit him three times and that's really gonna be annoying you do not want to do this four times now we're gonna to go to the left go around his arm or his leg in this case I guess whatever you want to call it get to his back again and climb up and do the same thing for some reason the second time it's a lot easier to climb him i don't know why or to grab onto him anyway than it, than it is in the beginning so once again get to the top of the bump jump up top of the bump jump up he's gonna do his regular shake just hold on same process pretty easy so now we're on the top again and now he's gonna do his head dipping bull crap right here you want to be really careful of that because you don't want to get into the water. So just be wary. Be, be always on the lookout, lookout to hold R2. And I think this time I'm trying to get to the closest platform, which is the right side. It really depends on what position he's in. So if you're asking me which platform should I go to next, it doesn't really matter as long as it's the closest one to him. So, yeah, jump up over here, and I got really lucky. It was a really weird jump, again, due to the finicky physics. And I also got lucky there for not getting hit. Shoot him with a boat to get his attention. There he goes, down, and now he comes up. Jump up, and hold R2 to grab onto him. And then let go, and then hold again to grab. And start, stab, stab. The maximum amount of times you can hit him is three, like I said. You cannot hit him more than three times, it's physically not possible. There is a chance of missing hitting him a third time, which is really bad. You do not want to do this four times, it's really annoying. So, there we go. And the second time he's going to destroy a pillar, you're going to get introduced to this amazingly long, stupid cutscene. So, yeah, just ignore that. And here we go for the third time, right? As soon as the sense. Alright, there we go. He's gonna shoot me in the water, and he's gonna miss. And if he hits you, don't worry about it. And in here, I'm trying to figure out which side I should go left or right. And now he's turning to the side that I'm going, which means it's gonna take forever. So now I'm going the opposite side, and then he's gonna turn this way. So this really screwed me over. Just pick a side and go, it doesn't really matter. Don't try to do what I do by being smart. It just doesn't always work with this random AI.
All right, when once again at his backside, you want to do the usual grab on to his green fur. It looks like grass, if you ask me. I think it is grass. Same thing, jump up. Jump up, hold on, jump up. Shake again. He's gonna do his head dip again. Yep, there it goes. Alrighty. Start hitting his teeth. And I'm gonna go towards that pillar. Or that platform, I should say. And this is pretty much the end here. This is a really long fight, man. Really long fight. I think it's the longest one in my opinion. I think I kill him at like... 6 something. Jump on the platform, equip your bow. Shoot him in the face. To get his attention. Can't really tell what he, where his eyes are. Maybe those two holes? It's really weird to tell where his eyes are. And for some reason he just chills here so I shoot him again. I don't know why. And there uh, he goes down. And then it comes up, get ready to jump, hold on R2 to grab, and then let go, and grab again, and go stabby stabby. One, two, and three. GG Pelagia, or Pelagia, however you want to pronounce it. Alright guys, hope this was helpful on one of the more annoying fights. We're going to be moving on to Falnax. Gaming in 60 people will be leaving you right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hit the notification bell to stay up to date and know when a new video is ready for your viewing pleasure. Also, check out our official website at gaminginsings.com for latest daily news, featured articles, reviews, and more. Peace out, everybody.